Hey guys, it's Sophia, and today's video is going to be the What's on my iPhone 7 Plus because I recently just got a new phone, and this one is the I got the 168 gigabyte one. So yeah, I'm going to do the What's on my iPhone 7 because um, I, just, I don't know, I just want to share with you what's on my new phone. And um, yeah, I got the 100, I believe 160 or 130, like one of the two, I don't know. So um, yeah, so let's just jump right into the video. Okay. So this is my background. I'll be sure to put the link down below so that you guys can go click it and then download this. So on the front page, it's pretty basic. Um, the first one I have calendars and then settings and then I have this utilities where it has just compass, voice memo, contact, find friends, find iPhone, weather, safari, and then FaceTime. And I don't really use these apps that much unless I get like a FaceTime call. FaceTime is probably the only one that I actually kind of use. But other than that, I don't really have a use for those things. But then next to it, I have photos, maps, app store, clock, calculator, headspace. Oh, and headspace is um, it's like a meditating app. So it's kind of like you kind of log every day you meditate, and there's a guide that you listen to and follow. And it's actually a really good app. Then I have notes, reminders, iTunes store, um, TV, health, music, Hue, and then Hue is just the app that controls all the lights in my house. We have it like hooked up to our apps on our phone so we can just like turn it on or turn it brighter or darker. Like we control it using this app Hue. And then I use Weather Channel, the Weather Channel, instead of just the weather one that the default for iPhone. Because I feel like this one's more detailed and I like looking at all like the specific details as to like the do, like all that stuff that comes with this app that doesn't come with the weather app. There's email, I have Starbucks because that's how I pay for when, whenever I go to Starbucks I use my app to pay because you can like build reward points and then you get free drinks and free perks if you reach a certain number of stars. And then I have Goodreads because I love reading books and you guys should definitely check out my previous video where I did an unboxing for All Crate, which is a book subscription box. So yeah. And then I have Spotify because I have this on my front page because I use Spotify every day. So that's kind of like the, this is kind of like the important kind of page, shelf or whatever you want to call it. I have camera, messages, phone, and then I use Chrome as my default browser. I always use Chrome instead of Safari. I've just always done that. I'm not sure why. And this is like my folders page. So I have my social, which here I have YouTube and then just YouTube Studio. And if you're like a YouTube creator or whatever, um, you most likely know what Studio is. It's just a way that people who create content can kind of check their analytics and stuff like that. So. If you watch YouTube, if you've seen other iPhone 7 videos, you've most likely seen um, YouTube Studio on all their iPods on my iPhone 7. Okay, so then I have Snapchat, and then you guys should definitely add my Snapchat. It's just Style by Sophia, so you guys can add me on there. And then I have Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook, and then all my um, links to my social medias will be down below, so you guys can just go follow me on, on there. And then this is what I use to edit all my Instagram pictures. I just use Facetune and Visco. These are like the top two apps that I've used for like a couple of years now and I really like them. So Facetune, it just kind of like fixes blemishes. You can whiten your teeth. Um, they have a bunch of other features too that I don't really use. I just use their like airbrush feature and their whiten teeth feature. And then Visco, which is an app that you probably know is very popular. And this one's just labeled lifestyle because I don't know, I just defaulted to that. So in Lifestyle, I have Shop Kick, and when you walk into stores, you can get points, and then after a certain period of time, and after a while of building your points, you can actually redeem a gift. So usually I get like Starbucks, because that's like the easiest amount of points to get. In Starbucks, you only need like 200, and it's pretty easy to get that. So I pretty much get free Starbucks whenever I go, and that's nice. But there's also like American Eagle, there's Target, there's Walgreens, um, or not Walgreens, sorry, Target and, I don't know, I don't think it's Walgreens, but you can win like beads, gift cards to multiple different places and it's actually a really nice app. So then I have Chase because that's how I manage a bank account and then I have the wallet and that's how I pay with, um, 
the Apple Wallet is how I pay for stuff when I go places. Like if, if I forget my wallet, I can just use Apple Pay on my phone and then you cannot pay using your phone if you forgot it. And I tend to forget things, so it's great to have. And then I have school. I also have Google Docs in here, but I don't know where it is. I have Google Classroom. I have Sheets. Forest, which is an app that keeps you focused when you're doing your homework. For instance, whenever I'm doing my homework, I'll set a timer for like 30 minutes or an hour, so then it won't let me go back on my phone until that certain amount of time has been reached. And like, it's fun to see like your um, tree like grow over time, so it's a cool app. And then Skyward is just the system that I'm able to check my grades on from school. Not really anything special, but if you found it interest, if you found this video interesting, be sure to give a thumbs up and comment down below what you think my next video should be. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.